Hey everyone, welcome to Author Strong. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up your binder just like this to show you exactly where you're at with your novel, give you visual cues so you'll know exactly how much you've done and how much work you still need to do. All right, let's jump straight into it. All right, here we are looking at our binder. Now we are going to take this and I'm going to show you how I will actually uh, color code these to let myself know how far along I am. So there's going to be a couple things that you're going to need to know how to do real quick. Um, hitting command option comma is going to bring up the metadata settings. And so this is where you're going to be able to put in all the settings for your book, your title, your, you know, the author name, uh, everything like that. Then you've got labels, status, um, custom metadata. So I don't mess with the custom meta metadata too much, but I do mess with the labels and the status, more specifically the labels. Um, I'm actually going to delete all of these, so I don't I don't use these, right? And I actually use essentially these status icons as labels instead. So I'm going to create these. So we're going to do new. Um, a few of these that I use, so I'll do first draft, and then create another one. To uh, I usually have a revised draft. Um, I've got one for outlined. And I'm not worried about the order right now because I'm going to fix that. And then I'll do proofread. And then I'll do final copy. I've also got some that has issues and to be removed. These are usually the ones that I use. And so um, reorganize these a little bit. I usually put this up here. Outline will be first. Um, and then the rest of them look like they're ballpark in order. So uh, outlined, I don't mind that color. First draft, I usually use, uh, we can change these colors, just double click right there on that color. I usually use like a yellow. These are all just visual cues. You can use your own colors. Uh, revised, I usually use kind of this green. Proofread. This is actually kind of a newer one that I'm using, so I'm not married to anything, so we'll use that kind of orange color. Um, final copy. Increase that. Let's see, final copy could be Something like that. Has issues. Usually my has issues one is red. And then to be removed, I actually have is black. Okay. So those are all our. Okay, sorry, I had to uh, had to cut there for a second. So uh, these are the labels that are that we're going to use. Um, and we've removed. I removed all the statuses. We don't. Uh, you can put anything you want here, really, under the statuses. I don't really use them. Um, so now we have the labels. What we're going to do is we can go through here and use these labels to say where we are with each of these. So let's say this first one is like final copy. Second one is, is final copy. You know, this third scene, we've, we've proofread it. And this one has been revised. This one has been revised. And let's say this one's a first draft still. Uh, this last scene here has issues. And this very last one is something where, you know, it just, it didn't get written. It needs to be removed. And so this doesn't really help us too much right here. Um, Cause I have to actually scroll through each of these to see where they're at. What we're going to do though, is instead we'll go up to view. We'll go to use label color in and just click on binder. And so what that does is that actually gives me a visual representation of where I'm at with each of these. So like what I'm seeing right now is this first draft color and this uh, proofread color. Those are really, really close to each other, um, which would make it a little bit harder to, uh, to see. So I'm going to change this real quick. Just come back here. And that was option command comma to open this window and just double click on that color. And we can, you know, change it to something that's a little bit, a little bit stronger like that. Uh, maybe even a little bit darker so that it's very noticeably different than the yellow. And there we go. And that's exactly how I set up my own folders uh, to show me, you know, exactly where I'm at with each of the scenes. So I can just visually look and see how far along I am and how much work I need to do. And then obviously, if you look at the corkboard, you also see it up here. You can also set this label color in the corkboard on these index cards right here, and then it'll color the whole index card which is also handy for, for plotting out stuff. All right, that's it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. 
And as always, if you found this tutorial to be helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button down on YouTube and go ahead and leave a comment if there's any videos or anything that you'd like to see. Check us out at authorstrong.com. Sign up for our newsletter so you can stay up to date on all of the cool stuff we're going to have rolling out here in the very near future. Thanks a lot. Have a great afternoon.